Hello again, everybody. Todd Starooch, the horror nerd here, coming to you from New Jersey Horror Con and Film Festival at the Showboat Hotel in Atlantic City, New Jersey. I have the honor of sitting here next to the voice of Oogie Boogie himself, Mr. Ken Page. Ken, how are you? I'm well, thank you. Good to see you. Good to see you, too. How's the convention been for you so far? It's been great. I mean, you know, Friday's the first night, and everybody has to get off from work and blah, blah, blah. But it's been really terrific. I can't complain. Tomorrow they say it's a madhouse. So, I'm so I can attest to the yeah. fact that tomorrow will be madness. Yeah, well, that's good. Madness we love, right? Absolutely. So now let's talk a little bit about Nightmare Before Christmas. When you did the voiceover for it, did you have any idea in your head that it might take on the cult following that it has today? Not at all. Not at all. I mean, you know, there was a delay, if you will. We did the movie. It took two years to finish it. It came out. It did well, but it didn't do fantastically. Over the years, like the next two to three years, it became more of a cult film. And then it sort of really started snowballing to where we are today. And I think we finally, if I may say, I think people now consider it a classic rather than a cult film because it's come above ground, so to speak, you know? And Disney, the studio, and everybody has embraced it. I think earlier on it was thought of as a satellite production of the Disney uh, brand. But now it's amazing. And genera how many three generations now have grown up with it? So, And I can vouch for that. My 14-year-old daughter recently said to me, Dad, have you ever heard of this movie, The Nightmare Before Christmas? Yeah, I'm like, heard of it. I'm like, are you serious? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So you're right. <laughs> well, I think generations keep uh, discovering it on their own. And then there are, of course, parents who show it to their children and on and on and on down to kids that are like, <clears throat> excuse me, seven or eight. And you go up from there and it has a whole sort of goth group that follows and fans and so forth. Absolutely. Um, so I, I know that you do a fair number of uh, conventions. Um, what is it about uh, coming out to these conventions that keeps you literally coming out and continuing to do it? Well, I like meeting the people because for me, I'm a voice in a film. So if they don't meet me, they don't know the face, right. you know. So, but I, for myself, I enjoy it because you get to interact with people and people tell you how they've enjoyed it or how they came to it or what it means to them. And that's uh, something you take away with you not just what you come to give them. You also take that away with you. So it's, it's really always wonderful. Fantastic. I know it's a thrill always for me, like the fact that I get to do this yeah. and talk to people that I've watched or heard or listened to or you whatever. Know, I might say also when I'm at these things, I get to see people that I've admired, you know, and, and films that I'm a fan of and so forth. So it's, all, it's an all-around good time, you know. It is, and I love to hear that. Like, I sometimes I do these interviews, and the, the people will be just as excited as I am. Like, I can't believe I got to meet, you know, such and such a person. Absolutely. One of the uh, uh, events I did, Jason Momoa was there, and now we know he's Aquaman. Uh, uh, of course, there's Zach Galligan, who's right next to me over there, who's great. A lot of people, a lot of people I've met at these that are just terrific. Yeah, it is a fun time. Um, so one of your other credits is Cats. Yeah and just share with us any particular memory or experience you have from that. Memory, was that a cue for the... <laughs> you know what? <laughs> that was inadvertent, folks. I swear it was. <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. No, uh, well, you know, the fact I was fortunate enough to be in the original Broadway company, which was an amazing experience. As you know, I mean, I don't know if you were around then, but... Oh, I, I am a huge yeah. musical fan, and I saw the original Cats in Broadway on a class trip, so, yeah. And it was a big deal, you know, it, was, it had already opened in London, so people were yabba, yabba, yabba about it before it opened in, in New York. So it opened to great expectation and fulfilled it. It ran, I think, what, 12, 13 years? Mm, sure. And uh, I was also fortunate enough to be cast in the video... Uh, production of the live show, which was done, I think, in 97. And it was sort of a, 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 a gathering of people who had done the show all over the world. Some people were from Belgium. Uh, uh, um, Elaine Page, who had originated the role of Grisabella in London, was with us. So the late Sir John Mills played Gus the Theatre Cat. So it was another, all, you know, another completely different and wonderful experience with the show. And that, until recently, will be the only... Uh, uh, 
production that is constant because it's on film. Now, of course, as you may have heard, they're doing another a film version of it. And uh, Dame Judi Dench is playing my the role of old Deuteronomy. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, I'm totally flattered. I mean, you know, come on. And I think, why not? You know, I mean, it's it's the elder of the tribe, so on and so forth. So why can't it be a female, male, whatever? But I'm, I'm particularly impressed that Judi Dench is doing it because I said, wow, that's nice. I yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> I want to see it, yeah. But Cats has been a, an important, like this, it has continued to be an important part of my career. Fantastic. Any last minute thoughts you'd like to share with the fans who are uh, mingling and hanging out around here at New Jersey Archon? Where can you get a good slice of pizza around here? That's what I want to know. No, think about it. Think about it. <laughs> that is an excellent question. If I find out, I will be sure to let you know. I mean, we are in New Jersey. We have yeah, good pizza man. here. I've been in New York for many, many years. I know New Jersey. And we've got two more days, so you have time to let me know. I certainly will. Ken, thank you so much for giving us a few minutes. I truly appreciate it. Uh, best of luck in all your future endeavors, and have a great weekend here at New Jersey Horror Con. New Jersey Horror Con, Atlantic City, New Jersey. We will see all of you in the next interview.